So welcome back. Today we will be talking about the XOR instruction. So the XOR instruction, like the OR instruction and the END instruction, is again a bitwise instruction. Okay. So the bitwise or XOR instruction only returns one if both of the bits are different. Okay. Take note of that. Both of the bits are different. So zero XOR zero is zero. 1 x or 1 is 0, but 0 x or 1 is 1, 1 x or 0 is 1, okay? So if we again have the operand 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and operand 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, we can perform the x or operation to them by saying x or operand 1, operand 2. And the result will be stored in operand 1, okay? So after performing the XOR instruction, so we will get 1 XOR 1 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0. Okay? So it's also good to take note that XORing or performing the XOR instruction to itself will just result into 0. Okay? So this is the XOR instruction and I hope to see you again next time.